The Tyrannosaurus rex is known as one of the most formidable predators in history. Roaming the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, this colossal dinosaur is known for its massive size, fearsome jaws, and funny, useless tiny arms. Given its immense size and predatory nature, the question is, could it survive in our modern world? Before we begin, here is an audio of what scientists actually think the T-Rex sounded like. No, no, no. Not like that, you silly goose. This roar is made for movies and was probably not what they sounded like. Now, listen to this. If you heard this in the wild, what would you do? Now imagine a scenario where a herd of T-Rexes suddenly populated the world. What would happen? Surprisingly, there is a chance that the dinosaurs would drop dead in minutes due to the oxygen levels. During the late Cretaceous period, some scientists believed that oxygen levels were higher than today's 21%. This means our T-Rex visitors might initially struggle with the lower oxygen levels of the modern atmosphere. To survive today, the T-Rex would have to adapt to the lower amount of oxygen. Luckily, science shows that it's plausible that they could gradually adapt, as seen in many animal species' ability to acclimate to different oxygen levels. Let's say the T-Rex is able to acclimate to today's oxygen levels. The next step is to find a suitable environment for the Titan to live and hunt. The T-Rex once roamed vast and varied landscapes, from dense forests to coastal plains. The T-Rex was accustomed to a warm climate, suggesting that any potential habitat should mirror these conditions. Geographically, it would need vast, open spaces to accommodate its large size and support its hunting behavior. As an apex predator, it would also need access to large prey. One option that fits these criteria is Africa's savannas and grasslands. These expansive areas could be ideal for the T-Rex, offering a climate similar to its original habitat and ample space for hunting. The presence of large herbivores like elephants, giraffes, hippopotamuses, and even rhinoceroses could provide a viable food source. Another option is the Great Plains of North America, presenting a fascinating possibility for a T-Rex habitat Spanning across several U.S. states and into Canadian provinces, this vast region is characterized by expansive grasslands, prairies, and river valleys. The climate is largely continental, marked by stark temperature differences between hot summers and cold winters. It's a landscape that could remind a T-Rex of its ancient habitats, offering plenty of space for roaming and hunting. The presence of large mammals like the American bison, along with elk and deer, would provide ample prey. Okay, we have found suitable habitats and diets for the T-Rex, but no matter where you place a T-Rex, it would dramatically alter the existing balance between current predators and prey in the ecosystem. An ecosystem is a complex network of living organisms interacting with each other and their physical environment. Each species has a specific role or niche contributing to the overall balance and functionality of the ecosystem. Reduction in certain species would disrupt the food chain, affecting other species that rely on these animals for food or other ecological functions. The loss or reduction of certain species would have cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. For example, if deer populations decline, this could affect plant pollination patterns, which in turn could impact insect populations and so on. However, over time, ecosystems may adapt to the presence of the T-Rex. Prey species might develop new survival strategies, such as increased alertness or altered reproductive patterns. This process could take generations and might not be successful, leading to long-term ecological damage. Now, there is a big obstacle in the way for the survival of the T-Rex, and that is the animal that stands at the top of the food chain the apex predator, humans. 
In the scenario where a herd of T-Rexes appears in our world, either through cloning DNA or the discovery of an ancient world, the event would become a global sensation. Social media would explode with real-time updates, videos, and photos, while news outlets would provide continuous coverage. Governments would face immense pressure to ensure public safety. Military and law enforcement agencies would be mobilized to manage the situation, likely establishing perimeters to contain the T-Rexes. There would be intense debate over the best course of action. I wonder if capturing the T-Rexes alive would be considered a higher priority than saving human lives considering their rarity and research potential. The most significant factor in the T-Rex's survival is if humans would allow it. History has shown that humans have a tendency to exterminate species perceived as threats or competitors. This inclination has led to the extinction or endangerment of numerous animals throughout history, like the Tasmanian tiger or West African black rhinoceros. Realistically, the only feasible way a T-Rex could survive in the modern world would be with significant human intervention and support. It would have to include making a controlled environment, especially made for the T-Rex's needs, but it would also have to be enclosed to keep other humans safe. This sounds kind of familiar, hmm. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe or something.